Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm here to bring you a review of the Samsung Galaxy S6 smartphone. The S6 came out in April 2015 and is the successor to Samsung's Galaxy S5. The S6 comes in a choice of colours and starts at just over £500 for the 32GB model. Compared to the S5, the S6 has had a redesign. Whilst this means it's lost its waterproof functionality, I think the new design makes it look really good. The S6 has a nice slim design with metal edges and a coloured rear. On one side of the phone you've got your volume controls, the base of the phone has the headphone socket and micro USB port, and the other side has the lock button. Inside the S6 you'll find two processors. There's a 1.5GHz quad-core processor and a 2.1GHz quad-core processor with 3GB of RAM. These make sure that the phone runs nice and fast and there's no lag at all on your apps. The phone also has built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC and is both 3G and 4G ready. The screen on the S6 is a stunning 5.1 Quad HD screen, which is incredibly responsive as well. The S6 also has the Samsung fingerprint sensor, which no longer requires you to swipe your finger across the sensor, but just works by you placing your finger on it. I found that the fingerprint sensor on the S6 compared to the S5 is a massive improvement. Much like Apple, Samsung are also planning to tackle the payments market with the launch of Samsung Pay, which will use your fingerprint to allow you to make purchases. We don't know much about Samsung Pay at the moment, but if it takes off it could be a really useful function to have. Battery life on the S6 is fairly decent, and Samsung claim it has up to 17 hours talk time on 3G. Although realistically you'll still probably charge your phone about once a day. Samsung have however built in a feature that allows you to get a lot of charge from your phone in a short period of time, and claim that 10 minutes of charge can give you 4 hours of talk time. As with most smartphones, the S6 has two cameras. The front-facing camera is a 5 megapixel camera, which seems to take fairly decent photos. And a new function allows you to tap the heart rate sensor on the back to take photos for those perfect selfies. The rear-facing camera is a 16 megapixel camera with optical stabilisation, autofocus and LED flash. I thought this camera was pretty impressive and it seemed to take some decent photos. The rear-facing camera can also take Ultra HD video, which looks great. The S6 runs the latest Android Lollipop, which works really well on the device and is nice and easy to get used to. The built-in apps make it easy to make calls, send messages, check your email, browse maps and surf the internet. The media apps also make it easy to browse photos, listen to your music and videos look great on that Quad HD screen. Samsung have also updated their health app, which allows you to set goals and track your fitness. You can also measure your heart rate in the app using the heart rate sensor on the back of the phone. You also have access to the Google Play Store, where you can browse and download thousands of apps to add to your phone. You can get apps that allow you to do anything from checking your gift gaff balance, to playing games to pass the time, or checking the latest news. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy S6 is an incredibly good phone. It's got a beautiful new design, a great looking screen, and it's incredibly responsive as well. The only downsides to the phone are that you can't expand the memory with a memory card, and also that the Samsung S6 compared to the S5 has lost the waterproof functionality. Although most of the time this is more of a gimmick than anything. For those reasons I give the Samsung Galaxy S6 a 9 out of 10. I hope you found this review helpful and I'll see you guys again soon.